afternoon, everybody. I think I'm just in view. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's keep our shoulders down and let's just take it into 20 squats. Third two, keep your shoulders wide. Third three, four, Six, another nice day, bum towards seven. Feels like spring is in the air. Nine, ten, let's go again for ten. For nine, for eight, seven, six, five. Good, four more, four, three, two and one well done let's just come together and we're just going to take it into our normal markham and wise we've just had a lovely lady for massage and this position she couldn't do so don't take it for granted but you can get your hand behind your back if you ever get frozen shoulder or shoulder impingement this becomes very difficult and if you think certainly for ladies Try and just take that hand as well, up to almost like your bra strap if you can. And again, just imagine if you couldn't undo your bra. And for two. And for one. Well done. And then just circle for four. Circle for three. Circle for two. And one. Four the other way. Four. Three, two, and one. And this side. And for four. For three. For two. Sorry, I keep looking at the other camera as well. And one. And again. Four, three, two. So I like to do quite a bit of shoulder work for lots of reasons, but mainly because everyone's all a bit hunched up. So let's just take the arms out, reach them long, take the palms up, really do it with like some purpose. And down and lower. And again, for two and lower. And for three and lower. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy going for a dog walk today at lunchtime. Got a massively busy day today, but I've got half an hour, so I'm going to get out and get a bit of fresh air. And three. Good. Again, abduction can be a real problem for some people. Last one. And one. Well done. And then just take it out, pull it in, and then come up onto the balls of the feet and lower. And again, retract out. And down. Uh, six more. Retract up into the ball of the foot. And now. And again. And four. Protract, retract out to the side. Three. Good. Two. Last one. And one. Beautiful. Well done. Reach up. Just over, take a beautiful breath in. We're not going to do weights today. I put one on yesterday on YouTube actually with that weights, uh, just a 25 minute, but really quite an intense one for 25 minutes. So we're going to do some upper body work but in our prone position. So we're going to now stand, we're going to come to the edge, hopefully you can see me alright, we're going to come to the edge guys and we're going to walk it out, you can either do one plank push up or if you know that plank is like, I can't do that, then take the knees down and do it, yeah, so chin to chest, take the hips back nice and slowly, we've got six of these, just let everything just hang. Have a bit of softness in the knee to walk it out. Your plank position, keep it like that. Yes, yeah, so you want your plank. Now you'll know straight away whether you can do a plank push-up or not. To do a chest one, the hands come slightly wider. 
and the elbows come out. If you know you can't do it, take the knees down and then just come down like this. Bring the hands back together, back into plank, into a downward dog. Keep walking back, softness in the knees if the back needs it. And gently up. This next one I'll show you a plank push up. So if you can't do it without the shoulders hiking up, do the knees down. So chin to test. You can if you want have a bit of width in the foot. And that will put you in a nice position for the plank push up. Gently down. Walking out. So you want the hands quite wide. And it's like a, almost like you're peering off of the cliff. Down and back. They're not easy. And then back up again. Walk it out. Yeah, so the knee one will still work you hard as well. So it's more about keeping your body in alignment. Chin to chest, hips backwards, weight forwards. Yes, yeah, so you're getting that nice lengthening of the hamstrings. Again, I'll come down, knees down, elbows out to the side. Little, almost like you're peering off of a cliff. And back, and walk it back. Gently up. I used to always do plank push up. I used to be able to do loads and now I think I'd struggle a little bit. Chin to chest, hips backwards, gently down. This is number four. Walk it out. Again, you want to keep the tummy nice and tight. Draw the belly in. Even if you go to there, you don't have to come all the way down. Not easy. Take it up. Heels towards the floor. Gently back, hamstring should be feeling a little bit better. Softly up. Two more. Chin to chest, hips back. On the last one, we're going to stay down for a little bit and do a little bit of core work in the plank position. So again, I'll just show you the one with the knees. I'll also show you a tricep one where the hands are closer together and the elbows graze the side of the chest. You come back up in that position, hips nice and high, walk it back, gently up, and on the next one we're going to keep it down. So chin to chest, come on down into your plank. This time try and keep your plank position, draw the tummy in if you really don't like plank. Take the knees down, just draw the belly in and hold that position. Otherwise, bring the right knee in, the left knee, the right knee, the left knee. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take the hips up, walk the hands back, gently back. Apologies for my doggy. I don't know why she's barking. Come, come, come in. <laughs> and then gently back up to standing. And just because the hands might have got a little bit tender there, the wrist, take your hand and just use the other hand to just push down. Really nice to just stretch the wrist out as well if you've been um, typing all day. And then the other way, oh. and then just circle it, circle the wrist, yeah, circle back. You can circle each individual finger as well, guys, yeah, and just give yourself some ins and outs. And then again, the other way, push down, Coco's obviously seen something. And then the other way, and then circle, and circle back. And then just this one where you're just circling through. Oh, so doing wrist work can feel a bit uncomfortable, but it's really good for bone density. Coco, shush! <laughs> and then in and out. She's crazy, my dog. Okay, well done. Good. So we've done a little bit of body work, a little bit of upper body work. Let's just stretch out a little bit. Just pull in. You can get a lot of tension through this deltoid muscle. Good, 
up the other side. And turn the legs super, super wide. Take the hands, interlink your fingers and really pull your scapula together. Yeah, so you want to pull in, so you're stretching through the pectoral wall, then front chest muscles. Take the chin down. And then do the other way, where you round the back. And then again, like this. Good, and then keep them where they are and just take your right hand up and just bring the hips backwards. So sit back in the hips to stretch out through the hamstrings. Sit back in the hips, use the waist a little bit. So glue, think about thinking about um, sending that navel into the spine as you come down. So working the obliques a little bit. Two and one, the other side, hips back, reach. Hips back, reach. So three, four, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Back into centre. Okay, do Let's do a little bit of what we call skater squat. So I sometimes do this in here. I'm not doing a hip version of it. I'm just going to soften one knee. So you soften one knee, can you see? Yeah, and then the other leg you take behind. So you kind of keep that front knee bent and static and you just go one, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, four, three, two, and one. Well done, the other side to soften. So again, out to the side, one, two. I don't know if Coco wants to come in. Coco! <laughs> she won't come through this way when she knows I'm working. Come on! Were well, you trying to get in the door? You'll probably see her just one across. Three, two, and one. Go on, silly Billy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well done, good work. Okay, grab hold of a roller or a chair or a wall or nothing if you feel your balance is up to it. It's just nice to have something just in case. So keep the shoulder blades down. And I just want, yes, yeah, so the shoulder blades are down. Take the foot to the front, to the side, to the back. Yeah? Forward like that. My foot's in a slightly wrong one, two, three. Keep core tight. And four, three. So the hip really is doing kind of extension, flexion, and abduction work in a minute. So keep it like that. Soften the front knee, uh, the knee that's the standing leg, something I was saying. And lift it up for 10. Lift it for nine. Lift it for eight. First seven, first six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then just bring it straight into that position to work the bum. Lift it ten, lift it nine, lift it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one in extension work where the leg goes back. We're going to do that on the floor, guys, today. Oops, sorry. So I've just moved to the other side, the other leg. Point the foot. Keep the core tight. It's like a weevil today. And I remember a weevil. Weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. And two. And three. Good, and four, so the hip is supposed to move in different directions. Three, whoop, two, I don't know why it's so wobbly today. And last one, soften a little bit through the supporting knee, lift for 10, lift for nine, for eight, seven, keep the core tight, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done, 
and lift. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, good work. We're just going to do one more balance on each leg and then we'll do a nice stretch for the calf. So bring it up into our normal tree pose, guys. Hold that position. I might, just because I've got my trainers on, I shouldn't have. Um, I might just leave my leg there today. Take it up and lower. It was pulling my uh, leg in. Oh, springs in the air. That's not a song. I've just made it up. What is it? Love is in the air. And four and three. Beautiful. Two. And one, hold, 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 shoulder blades down, take your arms out to the side, circle four, circle three, two, and one, well done, the leg you've been stood on, take it to the back, just send the heel towards the floor, just to stretch out the calf, yeah, we're going to now do the opposite leg, so we're going to stand on the front foot now. So just feel that stretch through the calf muscle and then gently back up. Good work. Okay, other side. So again, just bring it into your tree pose. Or to there, the slightly modified version. And just hold, take it up. Big inhale. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. I'm going to blame my trainers for my not too great balance today. Even just having that little bit of height can just, yeah, it's like when you go on a boxing ball. And again, whoop. And for two. For one. And then out, and again, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Leg that you've been stood on, take it to the back. If you want to increase the stretch, sometimes it's nice to just push against the wall. Really push that heel into the mat, stretching out through the Achilles, through the calf muscles. Hold. Always feel so good calf stretches. And relax. Well done. One more stretch standing up. And then we'll get down to the floor. So take one foot in front of the other. Again, come into just your lateral push up. Really reach. And then just take it up. Really try and push your hips out. And then I'll show you from this direction. So you're kind of in a mermaid stretch. And then you round in the back a little bit. Good. Then back up again. And then soften the front knee. Take the hips back and the weight forwards. Really important stretch. I massaged someone yesterday who runs a lot. And their IT band down here was agony. So this is a really nice stretch for people who walk or run a lot. Take a breath in. And softly up, bone by bone. Good. Switch sides. So again, reach up. Really reach. A lot of tightness laterally. Push out. Take a breath in. And then round. So you get a little bit more into that upper kind of thoracic part of the spine. Near your kind of brow strap area, a little bit above. And then back again. And then down. Soften the front knee. So you're taking the pressure out the front. Hips back, way all the way forward like you're falling down. Letting the head just hang. Take a beautiful breath in. I was hoping um, Matt would be on today, Paul, because I wanted to ask her opinion about, I'm supposed to be at a 
wedding a week on Friday. In Gdansk in Poland. And gently up. And I really want to go. I'm just a little bit nervous with all the Ukraine thing at the minute. Oh dear. Okay, lovely. So let's come down onto the floor and let's pull it. You've got a roller. No. Okay, no worries. We won't use roller, guys. We'll just put it to one side. They are worth getting though for loads of stuff. <laughs> yeah. They're fantastic to roll your quads out. I'll just show you quickly what different things they can do. So obviously I do a lot of balance work on them, but they're really nice for just kind of rolling quads. Yeah, it gets that. You can just, when you find a particularly uh, painful bit, you can just hold a little bit. You can do all kinds of stuff. They're good for bridge. They're nice for bridge if you want to work into hamstrings more and bottom, you can put your legs on, that kind of thing. And obviously you've seen me do abdominal work. So, um, but we'll leave it to death, no problem. And we'll just come onto our backs and let's just take our feet a little bit closer to the butt than if we were doing a chest lift. So we're gonna do some bridge work. I want you to lengthen through the front of the chest, little chin nod. I want you to take a breath in through the nose and gently roll the low back into the mat and start lifting up into our bridge. We're going to do our strength working bridge first and then do a couple of mobilizations. So once you're in bridge, you want to have the hips nice and level. So level one, we're just going to take the right heel away and lower it. The left heel, so you keep the ball of the foot down. And the idea is that the hips keep level, that they don't drop. Yes, yeah, so when you lift, hopefully that's not happening. We're trying to keep ourselves very neutral. Lift, lift four, lift three, lift two, lift one. Take a breath in, slowly down. Some people find bridge really quite easy, other people find it really tough. So if you found that you were pelvically struggling a bit and the hips were moving around, don't come into this next level. Take a breath in through the nose, gently roll the lower back into the mat, start lifting your bum, the lower back, the mid back, sending the knees nice and long, push the right foot into the mat, lift the left leg to tabletop. With control, make sure the hips are level, drop. There should be no shifting of the hips when you lift the leg. Keep the core tight, bring the other one up. Hold, gently lower. Push that foot in, lift the other side. Hold, gently lower. Push that foot in, lift the other leg. Hold, and lower. One more each side, lift, lower. Lift, lower, take a breath in, slowly down, four, five, four. Last one of strength work, we're either going to go back to level one, level two, or we'll do level three. So take a breath in, gently roll the lower back into the mat, start lifting up, and this time, Again, push the right foot in, lift the left leg nice and high into your straight position. Keep core tight, bring it down for four, back up, three, back up, two, one, soften the knee, place it down, push in, bring the other leg up, straighten, four, three, Two, one, soften, down, take a breath in, and slowly lower, one, five, one. And we're just going to do two mobility ones, so all we're going to do is roll up and down twice, so take a breath in. Gently roll the lower back into the mat. If you feel like you want to lift your arms at the same time, you can do. 
Make sure the ribs are keeping down, sending the knees nice and long. Take a beautiful breath in at the top. Exhaling down. Good. And last one, breath in. Gently roll the lower back into the mat, start lifting again, taking your arms over, sending the knees long, the hips are high. Take a breath in. Make sure you're connecting the ribs down as you come back. Beautiful. Before we do roll up, take your arms out to the side. Glue your legs together. Take the knees to the right, the head to the left. And gently back to centre. Switch. Keep going. Oh, I did. I can't remember if I put my card on. And then again. Beautiful. And let's keep with some abdominal work now. So let's take our legs nice and long. Let's go into our, I always do chest lift first just in case people don't like roll up or can't do roll up. So interlink the fingers underneath your head. Take the thumbs into the nape of the neck. Make sure you're in neutral spine, pubic bone, hip bones, uh, level. Yes, yeah, so you're not arching, you're not squishing. Your tray of imaginary drinks are nice and stable. And I just want you to keep your elbows in your peripheral and then lift up one, two, three. I want you to hold there and then just have a little twist for one, back to centre, twist for two, back down. And again, lift, twist. Twist and back down and again lift, twist, keep your elbows wide, twist and back down and again lift, twist, twist and back down. Two more, lift, twist, twist and back down. Last one, twist. Twist and back down, then just single lift, lower. Don't bring the head all the way. Lift, lower. Take your hand, just make sure there's a little gap and you're not pushing down. Continue with that if you prefer, or you can join me in roll up. So, with a roll up, if you take your arms backwards, the ribs might come with you. You might have the gaping in the back. So you need to make sure the ribs are coming up, uh, in and down, guys. So take a breath in. Chin towards the chest. And forward we go. Reach all the way forward. All the way back. Shoulder blades down. Draw the tummy in. Back we go. Take a big inhale. Exhale forwards. Inhale up. Exhale back. Exhale, inhale, exhale, good, exhale, inhale to stay, exhale forward with control, you can for the last few we can Send the lower back down, see if you can raise one leg, lower back down. Raise the other leg, lower back down. Two more each side, lift, lift. Last one, on each side. And beautiful, well done, excellent work. Just cross your ankles, bring your knees into chest. Where are we 
looking for time, perfect. Okay, let's keep with abdominals before we do a back stretch and do some more um, glue work. So, just remind yourself again of your neutral pelvis. You've got a tray of imaginary drinks. You don't want to spill them forward. You don't want to spill them back. So we're in neutral. And we're just going to walk, take the right leg up to tabletop and the left leg. Make sure that the head's not doing this, a little chin nod. And then take your arms up towards the ceiling. Make sure the shoulder blades are on the mat, draw the belly in, keep your arms where they are. Just take right leg and slowly back in. Don't move in and out of neutral, keep in neutral all the time. Ricks are firmly on the mat. And out we go. Good work, let's go for 10. For 9. Your arms are bothering you, take them down. You can even take them underneath the head as long as the ribs are down. Elbows wide. For 6. For 5. Position. Well done. Bring your legs back to your centre position. And we're just going to do, finish off with an abdominal. So we're just going to take the hands underneath the head. We're going to raise the right leg nice and high. Lower back on the mat in this one. Lift the other leg up. Push the ribcage down, navel to spine, little chin nod. Take it ten. Take it nine. Take it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ten more, for ten, for nine, for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Cross your ankles, bring your knees into chest. So a good old squeeze. Well done, good work. Let's turn on to your front. Okay, dog. Time's going very, very quickly today. So we're going to do some front work for a, a bit of a change. So what I want you to do, you have to go quite careful on this one at home, guys. So just really think about the setup to start with. So I want you to push the pubic bone down into the mat. You can take your arms down by your side. I just have them at um, capital W. Push the pubic bone down, draw the belly in 
and I want you to turn the heels in towards each other and lift up above your knees. So onto like the lower thigh muscle. Yeah, so lift the knees away and I just want you to beat the heels together. One, two, keep the core tight. Really keep the core tight, work in the bum. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, let everything just have a little wiggle around again. So heel beats. So turn the heels in towards each other. Push the pubic bone down, otherwise you'll arch the back. Draw the tummy in, lift and heel beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done, gently down, little wiggle. And then on this next one, I just want you to come up onto your forearms and just draw the tummy in again. And then bring the point the foot, flex the foot, point the foot, lengthen. Point, flex, point, lengthen. You can come down if you prefer like this. So you point, you flex, you point, you lengthen. So the knee is away from the mat. And again, point, flex, point, lengthen. Four more, point, flex, point, lengthen. Keep the car tight. And again, two. And one. Well done. The other side. To push the pubic bone down, draw the belly in. Point the foot. Flex the foot. Point lengthen. Point, flex, point lengthen. Using the foot muscles, using the quad muscles. And again, five. Yeah, so point, flex, point lengthen. Point, flex, point lengthen. Lengthen three more, three, two, and one. Well done, do a nice little windscreen wipe side to side. And then just push your pubic bone down, grab your here, uh, foot, bring the heel into your bottom. Push the pubic bone and if you need to raise the thigh away, you can. Just stretching out through the quad muscles, then front thigh muscles. And then switch the other way. And again, just pull in. And just because I know a few people have got back issues, we're going to keep with the prone stuff, just have a little windscreen wipe, and then we're going to do some really nice, just cat to cow and shell stretch. So I want you to take your hands into the seams of your trousers. Push the pubic bone down, draw the belly in, slide the scapula down and just lift the chest a little bit. Keep the neck nice and long, reverses that horrible kyphosis where you round the shoulders. Take one arm out to the side, hold it, hold. Really imagine a little kid that's got your middle finger there, pulling it long. Bring it back in. Take the other arm out to the side. Hold it. Back in. Take both arms out. Palms up to ceiling. Just little pulses. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back in. Lower back down. Have a little wiggle. We've got three more, more of those. Push the pubic bone down, draw the belly in, slide the shoulders round and down. Reach long, lift the chest. Take one arm out to the side, capital T. Gently back in. The other arm, hold. Gently back in, both arms together. Just circle them, one, two, three, four. Circle back, four, three, two, one. Bring them back in, lower back down. Let everything wiggle, two more. Push the pubic bone down, draw the belly in, slide the shoulders down. This time just keep them in that. That position, reach the fingers to the feet. Push them up, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Gently down, another wiggle. Last one, push the pubic bone down, draw the 
belly in, slide the shoulders round and down. Reach long, take them out to capital T. And just push up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Can we grasp them together? Can we pull the scapula together? Stretching the pectoral wall. And release. Well done. Good work. Come and sit back into your shell stretch. Often needed after that. So just gently slide yourself side to side. Beautiful, walk both arms round to one side. Take that top hand, reach over the bottom hand, take a breath in. And out. And in. And out. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. Walk both hands round to the other side. Inhale, let the belly rise. Last one. Back to centre position. Right. Gosh, it's gone quick, Paula. Come over onto your front hub. Let's take our cow pose. Let's take a breath in. Keep the head where it is. Start round in the back. Get as much flexion as you can. The shoulders raise a little bit as the chin comes to chest. And then reverse the other way. I tend to inhale on the arch position, exhale as I come out. And again. Good work. Back to neutral. Look over one shoulder, take the hips in the other direction. Look over the other shoulder. Keep going. Three. Two, one, back to centre, do the rolling one, hips in one direction, round the back, hips in the other, move, the spine is supposed to move, the other way. Beautiful. And then just tuck the toes. Take the hips nice and high. Let's just walk the right heel down and the left. The right and the left. Right, left. If you missed side leg today or did it yesterday, feel free to go on YouTube. Oh, yeah. And then take both heels down. Hold. Feel that stretch. And then raise the heels, bend the knees. Straighten the legs, heels down. Raise the heels, bend the knees, straighten the legs, heels down. And again, keep that going for two. Bend the knees and heels down. Soften the knees. Walk the hands back. Don't come anywhere yet. Just have keep the knees soft. Have a little rock. Rock on the spot. Does that make sense? Just do some little circles. Circles back. Keep the knees soft. Turn the feet apart a little bit. And then just rock again, round and round. 
Turn the other way. And keep the knees super soft as we gently come on up. Nice and gently. And beautiful, just take a couple of little circles and circle back. Da, 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 da. And thank you so much. The sun's gone in just as it's time to go for a walk with the doggy.